Hello, in this video I want to talk about groups in Linux and how to add a user in uh, groups in Linux. This uh, Linux is Ubuntu and our courses are based on Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux. Uh, I think the commands are almost the same. So I'm going to start everything from scratch and um, first thing first, you have to make sure we are root by typing who or who am I. If you're not root, just make sure you change yourself to root. And I want to add a user first. So I do a user add reza. So I'm adding this user. So now I can check the, the for this user uh, which groups they have. And for doing this, uh, first of all, I want to see is this is this user is add so I'm gonna do tail the last one of in the list and uh, etc pass wd and you see Reza is already created by default got it got a user ID number group ID number and home directory so. You see, there is a group ID number, which is <clears throat> by default, every user has their own group as well. So there's a group reza and user reza, both are the same. So you can check that one as well by typing uh, for each user, one see like uh, this user reza in which groups are. So the list of the groups for the reza. And you see there's only one group, which is this user has in one group, which is res. And if you want more information about any user uh, regarding a group, you can type ID and then username. And you can see user ID, that's the ID number and group ID number and the groups. Okay. Here we just talk about user. Now let's talk about group. Uh, for the group, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, we have three main commands. I think it's group at, group dead, uh, group del, and group mode, which is a modification of the, the, the group. So I'm going to add this group. So let's add in some group, group add and you can do one at a time i try to do uh, uh three four or more than one it was not working and i was googling online how to do how to create multiple groups with one single commands which was way harder than uh, doing group add so let's do this so i'm adding one group group red and then i'm adding <clears throat> Another group, uh, let's say yellow, and then I want to add another group, let's say blue. So I create three groups, and uh, remember I, I add this user, and this user create its own group by default as well. So actually I, I create four groups, so blue, yellow, red, and also Reza. So I want to check this uh, groups is if, if they are created or not, just to double check for that. You can go like tell the last four of this group. I think the path for that is etc slash group. And you can see this four groups are created, Reza, and that's a group ID number, 1001 red 1002 yellow 1003 and blue 1004 so these four groups are created so how to add this user now if uh, let me clear this if uh, uh, id reza you see it's only one group which is reza or make it easy groups reza and you see there's only one group I want to add this username, this user, to more groups. Let's say the primary group for this Reza is red, and secondary groups for 
this username or user Reza is blue and yellow as well. For doing this, we using a user mode command. So how you do that? Just let's do that. So user mode and hyphen G, the small g, is for primary group. And I want to make it red. And you know, to, to adding one user to multiple group, you can do it in single single uh, line of command. So I'm going to do that. And capital, oh, I'm sorry, capital G is for a secondary group. Let's add this user Reza uh, in, in yellow and blue. So we separate it with a comma. Um, not sure if space or not I think you, you can't put space or not let's put not space just to be sure and after finishing uh, nominating your user for any groups so just type the username which is this is the user so I want to add basically I'm gonna add this user Reza primary group red and secondary group yellow and blue hit enter so First, I want to check the groups for Reza to see which groups uh, are in. So Reza in red, yellow, blue. That's the groups. And you can do ID Reza. And you can see here, 1001 Reza, and 1002, which is UID. That, this one is a primary group, which is red. And then secondary group here, also mention it yellow and blue plus red and these are all the groups with their group id numbers um, in the details so that was it i think it's very simple very straightforward and the whole uh, idea the whole uh, uh, intent of this video just using the user mode command but you also need some other information to double check and check the details and all the options as well thank you very much to watching this video